Hello guys from my studio Copelli, welcome back to my channel and el welcome to my house in Los Angeles of course. Today my goal is to bring you home, home in Bari, Puglia in Italy. If you don't know where is Bari, check it out, Puglia, that's my hometown. Today my goal is to bring you with my recipe to Puglia. Please, guys, check this out. Check this out, what we made today. Today I made taralli alla pizzaiola, very typical in Puglia. E vedi papà, vieni qua. Vai, she's in it already. Come i soliti tarallini, papà? Mm. Yes. Today I'm going to show you how to make this fabulous tarallini. Look at this. Yes. Come papà, è buono? No, no, è tuo, è tuo, quello io ce l'ho con la mia, vedi? Yes, today I'm going to show you how to make the taralli pugliesi alla pizzaiola by Maestro Dio Copelli. Please, at the end of this video, thumbs up and subscribe and try to make again this recipe. If you have any comments, please comment below. Right? Woohoo! Let's go see how to make it. Okay, here we go. Well, we need to make the taralli authentic pugliese. 140 grams of white wine. 140 grams of extra virgin olive oil. 60 grams of room temperature water. Half teaspoon of baking powder. In this case, I use this one. If you don't have this, you can use dry yeast. No worry. 10 grams of sea salt. Now let's go ahead and let's mix everything up, just like that. Let's go ahead, 200 grams of semolina. Let's melt everything, make sure it's nice and melted. 300 grams of zero zero flour. But make sure if you don't have semolina and you don't have zero zero flour, don't worry about, don't, don't be alarmed. I just use 500 grams of uh, uh, whole purpose of flour but to me to make the authentic recipe like my recipe go ahead and use same thing that I used so now let's go ahead and let's mix up everything the dough it needs to be really really mixed up really good also you can go ahead and do a user in the machine the kitchen aid or something some mixer that you have you don't have to make it by hands so now let's go ahead Boom. Go ahead and let's work the dough by hands. You need about 15 to 20 minutes to mix this dough. This dough is mixed up the same way how we do the pizza dough. You hold it on one side and you pull it on the other side. You hold it, you press, you hold it, you press, and then you put it together. Just like that. You have to put the love inside the dough. The love. Um, the dough is getting together. Wow. There we go. The dough is done. Now let's get to the second step. For this, uh, to make the taralli, I prefer to use uh, a wood wood board because it's going to be more easy to make our taralli. Let's go ahead and let's make uh, a long uh, loft, like a loaf of bread. So it depends how many, it depends how many flavor you want to do. So then you go ahead and cut one, two, three, as many as many flavor you do. So because in this video I'm going to do an authentic, I'm going to do the one authentic way. I'm going to make two different flavor of um, taralli. So I'm gonna go ahead and cut the and cut the dough in two parts. There we go. Let's save one one side, one to the other side, and I'm going to make uh, one authentic with uh, fennel seeds. And I'm going to make, of course, a pizza flavor. So I'm going to use uh, some tomato paste and fresh oregano from Sicily. Now let's create just like that. Eh? And uh, in the meantime, now let's go ahead and let's let it rest for, for 30 minutes with a towel on top. This is just a little bit of humid because the water. So now let's so rest for about 30 minutes. Well, in the meantime, let's put a pot with uh, some water because we are going, going to give two cooks for to make the authentic taralli. So before we're going to boil and then after we're going to go ahead and cook it in the oven. 
Voila. Okay, now that we have the dough, let's split the let's that up and let's put the ingredients that we want to put. So in this case, I'm going to do the authentic uh, taralli from Puglia, which is the the one with fennel. So now let's go ahead, let's incorporate everything. But remember, you guys can do whatever flavor that you like to. Let's go ahead and let's make again the dough. Let's mix everything up. We want to put, we want to integrate all the the flavor that we put in the in the taralli in the dough. Really good because we don't want one tarallo way too much than the other one. Hold in one side and your right hand you press. Hold and you press. The one of the fennel seeds are ready. Now let's go ahead, let's put it on one side here and let's cover up 15 to 20 minutes. I'm gonna put it on the other side. Number one, which is taralli alla pizzaiola. This one are taralli with uh, pizza flavor. This one we're gonna go easy and put uh, gently one teaspoon of uh, tomato, not too much. There we go. Or it's gonna go. Uh, it's gonna go be. It's gonna be harder to do. Let's put some fresh oregano. Voila. Let's go ahead and let's close everything inside and let's make the dough until it becomes all integrated. Don't worry about it's gonna break everything but we're gonna mix it up for about 15-20 minutes until this one becomes all red. There we go. After about 15 minutes that I mix it up nice and then our taralli alla pizzaiola are almost ready what i like to do at this point is to create a little like a little loft of bread then i like to cut in four pieces or even five not a big deal let's cut in four pieces i like to go ahead and uh, let it rest for about 15 15 minutes this way the the dough rest is going to be more easy to go ahead and create our own taralli there we go guys the dough is ready let's get a little bit of flour not too much on the counter and then let's go that's why i say we need to use the wood which is better now let's make let's uh, make like a spaghetti but of course a little bit more thicker than a spaghetti and there we go if it's too big, let's go ahead and let's cut F. F one side and let's go ahead and let's make this one a little bit more thinner. Remember if it's sticky, go ahead and put some okay now that we have our thickness that we want, let's go ahead and let's make the tarali. It's very simple. There we go. Ta. Our tarale is ready, so I'm gonna make a couple and then I'm gonna go ahead and boil them. Amazing, can't wait to go ahead and taste it. So now the water is boiling, let's add uh, a pinch of uh, salt and of course next to the to the water let's have a pan with a little bit of towel paper. The taralli you want to cook a couple of time, not too many. And of course guys remember one thing, cooking the taralli is like cooking the gnocchi, when they go up they are ready. Okay, like you can see, the taralli, they are coming up right now. So we want to cook 
the tarali like the now let's get one by one and let's put it in the in our uh, there we go I'm gonna put it into a little bit of space there we go now we let it dry the tarali for about 30 minutes to one hour then we're gonna go ahead and cook it in the oven so in the meantime let's go ahead and let's make it more now we need a sheet pan with a little bit of uh, paper, uh, the paper for the oven now that our taralli they are dry out now let's go ahead but i noticed that if you use the paper towel they will stick so go ahead little easy and let's place the taralli on the on the sheet pan there we go and now they're gonna go ahead and give it a second cook so let's go ahead and preheat the oven in the meantime before we cook the the taralli at 360 fahrenheit warm so heat it up before and then after this we're gonna go ahead and cook it for about 20 minutes We are making the one with the fennel. The only thing that this one here, we're gonna go ahead and we're gonna make it, uh, we're gonna cook it in a different way. This one, we're gonna go ahead and cook it the, directly in the oven because yes, you can also, you can also do it uh, directly cook it. So I'm making it. And like you can see, this, has little, this one is a little bit easier because there are less you mean to make sure you close really well the tarallo because uh, they can open up so in this case we're gonna go ahead and need one pen like this let's place it separate from each other because they're gonna grow just a little bit not too much there you go and remember that you can also do as many flavors that you want. Those are really typical from Puglia, where I'm from. You know, these days it's really hard, so I'm making uh, so many uh, recipes just to remind me of uh, my hometown. I remember when my grandmother used to make those. Oh my God, we, we were all the nephew there waiting for, uh, for the tarali to be ready. Uh, that's amazing remind uh, this is what that's what reminds me I miss it so much my guy and now there we go same thing we can go in the oven we're gonna cook it at 360 Fahrenheit for 20 minutes my helper kid <laughs> job papa here goes the time of the troop. Voila! Amazing! Amazing, guys! Pizzaiola one is ready. Let's get the other one too. Be careful, don't get burned. It's really hot. And also, those are ready. Wow! Yeah, and here is the tarali! Woo! Woo! Both ready. Like you can see. Voila. Wow, guys. Our taralli are magnifically ready. Woo! Woo! They are really hot. Like you can see, those are really more uh, they look like more dry and those a little bit shiny but they are both really crunchy so now they're gonna go now let's cool down and then we're gonna go ahead and taste it wow can't wait oh my god now yes that i feel in puglia in bari my own town wow
Wow, smells good guys, we made it very easy. I mean, comment below if you think that this recipe was easy. Was easy. Guys, this is a very typical, uh, very typical uh, food from Bari in my hometown. I mean, like you can see here, we made uh, something very basic with directly in the oven. And then this one was a uh, authentic way. We boil it and then we put it in the oven. I made also some, uh, uh, I made some uh, uh, boil on the fennel, uh, fennel. I wanna show you the different one. Vieni, the difference. Take a look. This one is boiled and this one was in the oven. Like you can see, this is a little bit dry and this is a little bit more, uh, uh, more harder and uh, shiny look. Yes, I'm here in the meantime. <laughs> Madonna, she's enjoying the tarali too. And uh, yes, so it's very easy and simple recipe. Nothing. I hope you like this video. I hope you like it. enjoy this tarali with family. Also, this one can put it in a, in a container close and you can save it for a week or two weeks. It's no problem. Let me show you the crunchiest of this. Wow. Too bon, just like. So it's very easy, simple guy. It's very easy, sim. It's very easy and sim. Aspetta, papà, aspetta. Yeah, 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 yeah. They were only going in the oven. They are really crunchy, and those are. I, those. I hope you can. Uh, I hope you can. Uh, I hope you like this video. 